It isn't actually that much further in the game that you get the password to the... Well, it's not really the password, but the Cave of Bad Dreams. But... I mean, it feels like a long time because... As a kid, you suck. Doesn't matter who you are, you suck at games. So you had to play them a lot, and for a very long time. And now, that you're better at games, it doesn't feel quite so long. I mean, I don't, I don't know how long I've been recording this, but it doesn't feel like much time has passed. Fuck you, fuck you. Great cutscene. I always thought that was kind of weird compared to the other ones that happened in the game. Now is there a special thing backwards? No, not this time. You always do that, don't you? When you realize that first time you realize that it may not start you off in front of everything. There might be some things behind. And you find it in one game, and then in every other game, you always check going the opposite direction than the one you're supposed to go. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this... This level is treacherous. Also, I think it gave me nightmares. Well, not, not this bit. But, you know, a bit further ahead, you'll find out. It also felt like a really long level to me. I think it is long compared to the other ones so far. like this anymore. Not just like, you know, good platformers, because Uncharted is a good platformer, I guess, but it's more of a shooter, more of an adventure. And it's not like a platformer through and through, and oh. I don't actually remember that ever happening. I think I was always too scared of those things to ever approach them when they weren't, when they were up, or when they were out. Yeah, platformers like are just that are just platformers. Just, you know, platforms. What am I saying? They just don't have them anymore. This it has to be a platformer plus this, or this type of game plus that because that type of game already exists. Oh, there's another one. I should have noticed it because he had a health bar up. But yeah. Put the red and yellow ball from before. Put it on the thing like before. These fucking things again. There's always something to do with the camera, you know, the, the, fini the finickiness of the camera, the difficult difficulty to turn around fast to see what was coming. Even though it, it wasn't an instant death, these were usually the scariest things because you could hear them shuffling around, 
and they could be on the walls or the floors or the ceiling. They could be anywhere. And you just you just didn't know unless you could turn the camera around quickly enough. And most of the time I couldn't when I was a kid. Why platformers stop being popular? Was it because the, the big companies just decided that it wasn't popular because they had some strange idea that it, you know, maybe it was actually becoming pop unpopular because all things have their trends, you know, they go through phases. Right now, it's like first-person shooters and/or zombie games. And that's the the big thing. Puzzle games have been going strong forever, but platformers have just sort of become a kiddie, kiddie thing, and I don't know why. Maybe it is like the, the magical sort of... Unabashedly, it's not words. The nature of them being like sort of like fairy tales, like magic and impossible things, and usually cartoony characters. Because yeah, but then Mario's popular. And he's a cartoony character. He's just I I never liked Mario, mostly because I wasn't a Nintendo kid, I guess. I was a Sony boy. PS1, PS2. Nintendo, I think it was like the reason the Mario's still around is because Nintendo believed that their mascots were important. And Sony just didn't give a shit. Crash Bandicoot Spyro, they've gone. They've been killed. They've been raped. I know Spyro's like part of Skylanders now and he looks like shit. He's not Spyro, he's just a purple dragon, like all the other ones. But then there's like Crash Bandicoot Reboot, I think I saw like five minutes of a video, some sort of playthrough of that, and that looked awful. They changed everything and it just wasn't, it didn't feel the same. Not going for that. I wonder if I can get that for PC. There might be some way. I wonder if it's still going, but with like with the reboot, his terrible looking Crash Bandicoot. It was all Sony mascots, and then they had PlayStation All Stars and. Uh, it could have been really cool. I haven't played it, but I've seen it, and it just doesn't look fun. Mostly because they've got stupid shit like Fat Princess instead of Spyro. But you know, whatever. I've been blazing through this. Usually, well, usually. I have not played this game in a while. But when I used to play it, I sucked. I always would throw the ball too far or too short and I'd have to come back. You know, sometimes I'd jump and then jump down there and then miss the ball and have to go through the whole platforming section again to get the ball. Where? Yeah, 